The man Rodney that is featured in this video, the Chief Constable Martin Baker and all of the senior officers of Dorset Police knew about his fate when he was beaten up in a custody suite. All of them knew this because it went through the IPCC who investigated this. The all of this was supposed to have been investigated for an appalling treatment that you will see in this video which was police footage taken from their custody cells of what they did to this man and this man here Adrian Whiting and all the senior officers knew what happened here we see Rodney led in by Inspector Meadow of Weymouth Police followed by four of his goons taking Rodney into a side room Meadow is allowing all four of them in a room that is no more than about eight foot by six foot and one man in a custody suite. Meto is either allowing them to physically assault this man or he's orchestrated it. He's now going, you can see Meto going out to the yard and looking to make sure no one is going to come in and disturb the goons beating Rodney up in this room. In fact Meto himself is standing watching on the door to make sure that they're not disturbed while they're beating Rodney up and subjected him to God knows what maltreatment in that room. Meadows hovering around, he'd completely be seen. This is supposed to be the inspector in charge of the police station at Weymouth. Now Meadows decides, is he going to lock the door? Stop anybody coming in? Or is he going to have another look out in the yard? Obviously there's a certain amount of noise while Rodney is being beaten up by four goons in an 8 by 6 room. What's Meadow going to do? Eventually he'll lock that door and go up there and now we see the custody sergeant having a look in. By this time it's all too late. The goons have done the damage and Rodney is unconscious. Now they don't know what to do because now they're in trouble. Four goons have just beaten him up. He's not been taken in front of the custody sergeant. He's not been logged in. The custody desk is there. Now they're dragging him by his handcuffs, handcuffed behind his back, followed by Inspector Meadow, and the custody sergeant climbs over the counter with a sheaf of papers because he now has to book him in retrospectively because he's not been stood in front of this custody sergeant and booked in then interviewed. He's been bundled straight into a side room by four goons and beaten up. Here we see the custody sergeant, Meadow, and another idiot following him into a cell. This is police footage taken from their internal uh, surveillance cameras that was subpoenaed by the IPCC as a result of the investigation. Now we see Meadow with three other goons deciding that Rodney's unconscious and they're now going to strip him of all his clothes. Why? I don't know. Probably because he's not conscious for them to search him. The custody sergeant sits in the cell with a sheaf of papers taking notes because he's now got to book Rodney in retrospectively because he should have been booked in first of all prior to him being beaten up and knocked unconscious. The custody sergeant really doesn't know what to do. No one's called Rodney in an ambulance. That happens much, much later. In fact, it doesn't happen at all. They, they didn't get Rodney an ambulance. The custody sergeant is still making notes and looking at a sheet of paper because he's still got to book him in on the system. And Meto, who is the inspector, and the other goons don't know what to do other than to strip him. This is the most appalling treatment of a prisoner who's been brought in over a mistaken telephone call to his former wife where there was a court injunction that no one should be contacting either party. And 
He's accidentally pressed a number on his phone. The wife has reported it to the police that he's breached um, a court order about no contact and the police have grabbed hold of him, dragged Rodney into this cell and beaten him up. Prior to this, they arrived at Rodney's house and smashed the front door down and broke into the house to grab hold of him. So no wonder Rodney was a bit irate and possibly not uh, exactly forthcoming when he was being manhandled down to the police station. I think probably any verbal dialogue between the forced entry into Rodney's house and arriving at the police station has infuriated the four goons at the police station so much that they've taken him into the side room and decided to give him a good kick in, in the side room, knock him unconscious, then drag him by his handcuffs to the cell that he's in now where the custody sergeant still doesn't know what to do about booking him in and Meto, all he can think of doing is leaning over Rodney while they're stripping him naked, probably to look for marks or any extent of injuries that they've inflicted upon him while they were kicking the shit out of him in the side room. Meto was never faced any criminal indictment for misconduct over this, neither did the other four goons. If this is professional standards, and best practice policing, then I'm sorry, it's reminiscent of something that went on in Nazi Germany.